For more on the situation in Israel and the Gaza Strip, my guest today is Hanan Ashrawi, member of the Palestinian Legislative Council and head of the Culture and Information Department. Thanks so much for joining us today on France 24. Uh, Mrs. Ashra Ms. Ashrawi, Hamas says it's ready for this ground offensive. Does Hamas have what it takes to engage with Israel, or is it just posturing? Look, no army in the region is ready to engage Israel in an outright military confrontation. This is an asymmetrical warfare. It is launched by the strongest army in the region against a captive, largely civilian population with irregular forces, let's say, with you know, militia, trying to defend themselves and the population. And this is not a question of just saying we'll take you on. It's a question of saying that we're not going to lie down and die quietly. And that's why I think there's a great deal of bravado in that, but at the same time a sense of responsibility that we're not going to allow an invasion like this take place and we're not going to do anything about it. It doesn't mean there's any symmetry in terms of uh, parity of military power and strength. Well, I mean, Hamas and all of Palestinians have seen this before. This kind of conflict is cyclical. It comes back every few years. Yes. Uh, how is this going to end? This is not a conflict. This is a situation of ongoing aggression in the form of a military occupation. Gaza has been under siege, a strangulating siege for the last seven years, where they're not getting enough food, they're not getting enough medical supplies, they cannot leave Gaza by air, by sea, by land, and then they blame them if they try to dig tunnels. This is incredible. The occupation in itself is a situation of captivity and enslavement, and this is what has to stop. Otherwise, it's not just a cycle, it's an ongoing and escalating brutality and the use of violence unleashed against a captive, defenseless population that has nowhere to go. This is one. And two, the fact that one strong party thinks that it can dictate to the other and then take unilateral measures to blame the victim for its own and blame the victim for its own victimization, this is also unconscionable. And I think it's time that we deal with the causes rather than deal with cycles or with another flare-up. Uh, Doug Herbert, uh, our international affairs editor, would like to ask you a question. Yeah, Mr. Shkari, uh, just curious, yeah. where, in your opinion, does this leave uh, the, it's easy to be, I guess, cynical about it, but the, uh, the unity government, Fatah Hamas, and what, what is the communication, if any, these days between uh, the two parties? Yes, no, that's a, a, a very serious and appropriate question because we have been working hard in order to achieve reconciliation. This is a, a blow intended uh, to undermine the re reunification of Hamas and the PLO or of uh, Gaza and the West Bank because Israel wants to see us divided in a rule and conquer, in a divide and conquer situation. Uh, we are adamant about uh, reunification, we are adamant about reconciliation, and we will pursue this regardless of the difficulties. There are communications, of course, but they're extremely difficult. We're communicating with Hamas leadership outside Gaza, and through different factions at a different levels, there are communications within Gaza. But right now, our primary concern is to end this assault, to end this horrific bloodshed, I mean, it's not just 260 people killed. There are many civilians, there are women and children. What do you tell a mother who's, who's seeing the, the, the bodies of four of her children in, in bits and pieces? This is un incredible, unimaginable. That's what we have to do. Stop the bloodshed. But at the same time, we cannot go back to the status quo ante. We cannot go back to a state of siege leading to tremendous human suffering and desperation. So for you, uh, the military conflict or the military situation, as you say, can only really be resolved through social policies or uh, uh, lifting of these uh, blockages, blockades. Well, ultimately, the only way to end Israel's military attacks against Palestinians, whether in the West Bank or Gaza, and to end the land theft and, and the annexation of territory and the annexation of Jerusalem, is to end the Isra Israeli occupation and to end Israel's impunity. Israel has been used to living outside the law and above the law without any accountability. I think these two have to go hand in hand. Israeli curbs and uh, accountability for its violations, protection for the Palestinians, but at the same time, massive 
global international uh, effort to end the Israeli occupation and enslavement of the Palestinians. That's how you end the violence, not by dealing with the outcome of the latest Israeli violation, but you have to go to the root of the problem, the heart of the, the, the issue. And that's why we are constantly seeing uh, this repetitive pattern, because Israel has never been held in check and ha has never been held to account. Thank you very much, Hanan Ashrawi, for joining us today uh, here on France 24.